Good morning to you all dear students. So today we will start with the new topic that is Universal Adult Franchise. Alright, so that is from block 15. Okay. Alright, so our aim for today is students will be able to analyze the significance of universal adult franchise that is for a democratic government resources needed for our class for today is notebook and your exit content book and the keywords that we will use today is citizen universal adult franchise and representatives so let's learn the meaning of the keywords first so what is citizens citizens it is a resident of a city or town they are not a citizen okay and what is universal adult franchise that is giving the rights to vote to all adult citizens regardless of wealth regardless of income gender social status etc that is known as universal adult franchise and what is representatives that is referring to representing showing a likeness that is known as representatives okay i hope now you are clear with the keywords all right let's try to recollect okay let's try to remember whatever we have learned so this block has covered the need for government yes or no we have learned the need for government difference between democracy and monarchy and the importance of laws in a democratic government so this given three topics that we, we have learned so far okay from block 15 so uh, you may find difficult all right to understand the importance of universal adult franchise or the right to vote in a democratic government so these particular words universal adult franchise might be new to many of you okay so you might struggle to understand what is the importance of universal adult franchise all right so uh question here is what is a democracy and what are some questions you still have about a democratic government we have learned about in our previous class democratic government and monarch monarchy right so what is democracy that we have learned so far and what are some questions you still have about democratic government all right so okay now you please listen to me okay what is democracy so we have learned in a previous class that democracy is a form of government where the people they elect the leaders who govern the people all right who rule the people okay therefore the people they have the right to vote and elections are held after a certain period of time okay after every five years all right so india we know is a democratic government and elections are held every five years okay so every after every five years election take place all right and then the people they elect their leaders again okay so today all about see uh today all adult all right who is 18 years above 18 years of age okay citizens that is person who belong to a country by birth of india have the right to vote in an election so in order for you to vote in an election you need to be 18 plus all right so this is known as universal adult franchise all right that is the right to vote given to every adult citizen who is 18 years and above they, they are known as universal adult franchise okay so decision in a democratic government are always taken by majority okay 
So the elected leaders are responsible to the people. Alright, because they are elected by the people. So if the people are not happy or unhappy with the leaders, they can remove them. That is in the next coming election. Okay, how that is true? Not voting for them and voting for other leaders. Alright, that is how leaders, if they don't, uh, if they don't fulfill the demand or is, if they don't pay uh, any responsible to the people, then the people have every right to overthrow the leaders. Okay, that is in the next election by not voting for them. Okay. All right. So um, I want all of you to read this section. Okay, Universal Adult Franchise. This one. All right. I want all of you to read this. Uh, topic okay that is from your content book all of you please go through your content book and then you read this passage by yourself okay i'm not going to read for you i want all of you to participate and then read this uh, particular topic universal adult franchise okay you'll find in page number 20 in your exit content book okay so you can take your time and read this particular passage all right so after you are done reading with this uh, content okay passage question here is where all people given the right to vote that is many years ago as they do today all right today people we have the right to vote right so where all the people that is talking about many years ago okay many years ago as uh, people were allowed to vote today we are all people given the right to vote all right that is many years ago as they do today why were some people denied the right to vote in other words why were some people not allowed to vote that is in the olden days okay in many years ago in the past years okay so you listen to me carefully okay many years ago all right many years ago in the past across countries only men who own property they have the right to vote in an election okay and those uh, those who were not rich they were not allowed to vote not only that women also they were not they don't have the right to vote okay the reason why is because it was believed that women did not fight wars and therefore were too gentle to get involved in politics all right so so also people also believe that women were not able to make decision for the country because they only stay at home all right, that is the ideologies they believe uh, in the in the olden times. Okay, in many many years ago. Now, these were uh, a stereotype people had about women. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to repeat what is stereotype and prejudice. Okay, because that we have learned. Right, so all these were stereotype that people had about women. Okay, so they were prejudiced against people who were poor all right or uneducated or work as slaves that they too were unable to choose leaders all right they were not given the freedom the liberty to choose leaders okay okay why because people assume that they were poor they were uneducated or they work as a slave okay so they were not allowed to contest election either. Either okay, so they they cannot even contest in the election. So in India too, all right. Even in India, only a small group of people were allowed to vote. Okay, and if this had continued till today, many countries would not have had women prime ministers or presidents. So if we are still continuing with the same, uh. All right, 
the ideas all right the logic the belief in the past then we will not see any women taking part in election we will not see any women being the prime minister or the presidents okay so it was only in 19 no sorry 1848 it was only in 1848 that women across europe and the united states of america they started a movement for the right to vote okay so it was started only in the year 1848 and this was called the women's suffrage movement okay and it was not uh it was not until 1920 that women got the right to vote that is in usa all right and later on in the united kingdom all right i hope now you're clear so why do you think all persons should have a right to vote so why do you think that every person should have the right to vote why do you think so okay so listen carefully okay see if some people are excluded from voting if they are not allowed to vote right it is it leads to discrimination against them means we are discriminating them okay and right to vote is about choosing a candidate who can become the representatives of the people and govern the country on their behalf right therefore the ability to choose a candidate that is cannot be judged by whether the person is rich or poor educated or uneducated that is men or women okay so we cannot judge a vote based on what the particular person is all right whether rich or poor educated or uneducated men or women okay we cannot judge a person based on that so in a democracy all persons they have an equal right to choose their leader all right hence there should be universal adult franchise which means that every adult person should have one vote in an election okay now this is universal adult franchise okay means that all city all uh, means that all adult citizens have their right to vote okay and women had to fight for their right to vote earlier only rich were allowed to vote okay so poor people they cannot vote and they cannot even contest in the election all right now uh that is f uh the end of our discussion so i want all of you to practice uh, to complete your practice question number 10 okay from your content book along with that you please uh, fill out my learning chart that you will find below the question okay so you complete practice question number 10 along with my learning chart all right that's it for our class for today take care stay safe and have a good day